Welcome to Gaziantep. In this video, we're going on an ultimate food tour in Gaziantep. Okay. Ready by removing the stem. So keep I the like pepper, it. put the pepper inside there, mm -hmm. nestled inside there. I like to make it a little spicier. Okay. For mine, a little bit of chili. So chili, you add in your own kind of meat. Chili, chili is a huge part of the culture here too. Add in some chili, cumin. Mm -hmm. Oh, immediately that aroma of the cumin smells so good. So that's a combination of onions plus parsley? Parsley. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, a little drizzle of herbs in there too. Squeeze of lemon. Just a tad. Okay. It. Now we go wrap it. Writing. Let's wrap it and go straight for it. Okay. Mm. I can't pick the piece. Oh, more. wow. Oh, that's so fresh and clean tasting. Very tender. Mm -hmm. It's not really gamey or irony at all. Because of the Very freshness. Nice. Moist and bouncy too. You can tell when it's really fresh liver, it has a sweetness to it as well, a real sweetness to it. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, should we move into... You gotta... Shake it up? Sips, yeah. Oh, shake. Gotta shake the iron to get the salt all mixed in. Ah, okay. Okay, so Iran, the beverage of choice as well to go with all sorts of meat, salty yogurt. Okay. There we go. You know it's fresh, you know it's the real thing. And you gotta wash it down yes. with some Iran. Mm. Oh, that's also very refreshing, huh? Yes. Yes. So cold, perfect. refreshing, perfectly salty. That goes perfectly with the lamb liver. Okay, yes. going back in. Mmm. Mmm. I got a combo bite of liver and heart in that bite. Perfect. And so, what is the importance of lamb in this area of Turkey? Is, is lamb common everyday meal? Lamb is the everyday meat? traditional meat of the Turks, as the Turks come from Central Asia and leading a nomadic life way back in uh, history. It was mainly lamb they will rely on that will travel with them. So coming from those days, lamb is the main staple of the diet. Okay. Even though it's been a thousand years, it hasn't changed much. And just enough of the parsley and onions to give it, like balance the, the liver as well, make it refreshing at the same time. And that squeeze of lemon. Mmm. Almost forgot about that acidity for, or that sourness from the sumac as well. All of it together is perfect. Yeah, it's some more. Mm hmm And we're moving on to the next one. The sautéed liver, sautéed liver, minced up. And that's, that's just pure liver With too, right? some onions. Okay. And some more cumin. Oh, this here, oh, oh yes. The tea man. Oh, yes, the tea man has arrived, tea yes. Man. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at how... Best way to top How uh, happy he is. Bit. Amazing. <laughs> oh. Merhaba. Will anyone like sugar? Teşekkür. Yok, sauce. Teşekkür almıyor. Okay, teşekkür. Yeah. And right now we got the, the tea delivery as well. Such a nice, friendly, friendly man. Some chili we got here. Yeah. Uh, some sumac. Lemon this juice. Too, with a little bit more onions. Oh, yeah. Like this is going to be a little tricky one. All right. Let me break it up. Yeah, sure. You can break it in half. Ah. Mm. Different flavors in this one. Yeah. It has a totally different texture. I mean, it's chopped up so it's, it's minced. It's crumbly. And then we've got the sweetness of the onions, actually, and the mm -hmm. peppers in there. Oh, I mean, you can't go wrong. When it's fresh liver and they know how to prepare it, like they do here, yeah, there's, there's no wrong decisions. It's so good. Then wash it all down with tea. the perfect accompaniment. So we're sitting down for breakfast number two. This is something really special. I think here's a trick on how to start. <laughs> oh, it's just oozing with... Is it a double up? <laughs> Careful, it might be hot. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. 
oh, it's just all oozing together with the kaimak and the pistachios. It's so rich. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Okay. He's a man with great experience with the katamer, double stacking them. So you get double the amount of flavor in one bite. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay, let's pick it up. Yeah, you can see the layers. Oh, yeah, it's flaming hot. Again, molten hot. Oh. Mm. Rich, mm -hmm. creamy. Mm -hmm. Sweet, nutty. Like, the layers of dough are so thin that it's just holding the ingredients together yep. with a little bit of crispness, but not, not nearly as many layers as a baklava. Kind of like, it forms a pudding on the inside with the kaimak and the, like the pistachios, yeah. Again, if you like pudding, if you like baklava, if you like pistachios, and something sweet. I think this is the, the definition of what you would love. So you can mm. eat two plates of it at one sitting that way, yeah. <laughs> Once your mouth gets really sweet, you drink that milk and it is kind of refreshing. Okay, let's try the, the romantic version. Well, that's a huge that's slice. A one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a sausage. Here the layers haven't mixed so much because you put the kaimak in a separate layer. <laughs> It just totally squeezed Ooh, out, yeah, yeah, the backside. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Ten times the richness, though. This one is incredible, too. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same ingredients, but it has almost a different flavor and texture, because, I mean, the rolled version. The layering one. Yeah. yeah. There's more layers of dough to this one because it's wrapped like that. Just what you need on the first morning of your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. And chase that down. Oh man, look at the color of that. That's that's straight up like lamb juice fat, marrow bones. The rice is sort of melted in almost like a porridge. And then you've got the, the strands of the, the neck meat. Okay. That's good. Mm. Oh. Oh wow. Mm. The flavor explosion in your mouth, huh? It's so rich. That is unbelievable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is the garlic. The, the lamb fatty juices and oils. The neck meat is so tender, and it has like this stringiness to it because it's like strandy from the neck meat. The rice just kind of melts. It's exactly. so soft. They boil it, just, just boil the rice, no so, uh, oil or salt added to it. So oh, kind of man. balance the heavy richness of the soup itself. Wow. wow. Oh no, and then also, okay, I forgot about that, that, that belly fat that he mashes into the bottom of on your the pan. the bottom, yes. That's so where the fat, on top. that's uh, where the that flavor. layer on top. Yes, is, yes. Uh, the bottom. That's where the flavor is top. coming from. Okay, so they do have some thick bread here, and it's really thick and spongy so that it can absorb all that fat and juice. As soon as we, we dip in, oh, it just turns orange and red from that broth. Mmm. The flavor just soaks into the bread. Mm -hmm. That's how you make bread taste really good. I think I'll add a little bit more chili first. They will be very impressed seeing that around here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go in for a squeeze of the lemon, kind of brighten it up a little bit. And then we'll get the green chilies as chaser. <laughs> chili on chili. Oh, I love Gaziantep. Oh man, my gosh. Mm. The crunch and the excess The crunch, spicy. yeah. The crunch. Mm. And you can tell from the tip it's not that spicy. As you go deeper and deeper into the chili, it gets spicier and spicier. Because it's so thick, because of the rice and the fat, it almost eats like a porridge rather than a watery soup. It's definitely not watery. Oh yeah, when you get to the oh, bottom, wow. to the base, to the, to the siege. Impressive. <laughs> Here we go, and this is a significant amount of food. They include a wedge of lemon, which is mandatory first to squeeze it on top. And just kind of wrap it up like that as best you can. Oh, and because that bread is so thick, holds it in nicely. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, man. I got the creaminess of the fried eggplant, plus the chickpeas. I love chickpeas. Creamy, starchy, just the protein, the richness. That's so good with the freshly baked bread. That's really fluffy and hearty, and it really like is durable as well to hold in all those ingredients. That is an amazing handheld creation. Just look at look at how it's just fully loaded. You kind of got to put your entire face into it because it's so big. That's delicious too. I love it. What a combination. And served with a red chili, this time red chili on the side. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, they're sweeter than the green chilies. Not too spicy, this one. Really good flavor, though. 